it's the 22nd of May. We had a very welcome 10 mil of rain last night. Things are still quite dry up here for this time of year. Um, our average farm cover is sitting at 2,350 at the moment, which is a bit higher than I would like at this time of year. Um, so we are going to skip past a couple hectares of grass and put that in the silage pit. Uh, we're planning on mowing silage on Sunday and lifting on Monday. Um, so we're going to take 10 hectares out of the grazing platform um, of a total of 38 hectares. That's the current size of our grazing platform at the moment. Um, we have just about finished calving all our heifers. There's just a few of them to go. Um, so that's us up to 70 cows milking. So we've probably got about 80 cows left to, to calve. Um, so we still haven't got that much grazing pressure on the grazing platform yet. Um, and especially this week where we've been grazing some higher covers. Um, the cows have been going into covers of almost 3,800, so that's quite a lot of grass. And we've been finding they've struggled to graze some of those covers out. So we're using the, the far off dry cows to tidy up some of those um, grazing fields. So we'll just have a look now at the, the far off dry cows that we've just moved into this field. Um, I might change the... So in here the milking cows have just come out of here this afternoon um, and they've just struggled to graze it down properly um, so you can see we walk to the next field you can see where the uh, far off dry cows have just come out of so this was the the last uh, grazing pad that the milking cows were in so they've got that grazed down reasonably well now um, this is the second time the cows have been in this field um, so that's us on we're into the second rotation um, so in here, this would have been grazed about 30 days ago by the milking cows. They've just come out of this section this afternoon. Um, so the far off dry cows, they'll graze this field for the next, uh, well, however long it really takes to graze this out properly, maybe three or four days. Um, so we get a nice clean residual. Um, these cows here are due to calve in, uh, in uh, June and July. Um, and if we walk down, you can just see the fence there. Um, so the bottom half of this section, we're just going to mow and put in the silage pit with the, as you can see, as we're walking down this field, um, you can just see where the cows have really struggled to graze out the grass properly. It's not a very clean residual at all. Um, so rather than try and push the milk and cows to tidy this up, um, we might as well utilize all the far off dry cows we've got at the moment and they'll make a better job of grazing this out. Um, the milking cows are going into the next uh, paddock this afternoon that's sitting at 2,900 um, hectares, uh, kilos per hectare. Um, so that gets our average farm cover back down to about 2,100, which is a bit more manageable for this time of year. Um, so here we are. This is, uh, this is what I was trying to get the cows to graze and it's just... Uh, and you see that it's almost almost up to welling boot height there so it's it, it's just too much cows too much grass for cows to graze down properly so this will this will go into the silage pit on uh, on monday morning